the elephant in the room, and I've seen a lot of our Welsh friends and fans in the chat. So LRZ, we did, he did not make it back. I was released, and he did not make it back to the practice squad. He's going to be signing to the 53-man roster of the Jacksonville Jaguars. So now practice squad for him. He's going to make the active 53 for the Jaguars. So congrats to him. That's awesome. Oh. That's all fantastic. So good job for uh, LRZ. Well but, done, LRZ. Congratulations. Congratulations. The beauty, the beauty about that is I'll say this. Like for any Chief fans to say, oh, yeah, he, he didn't deserve to be on the active roster, whatever. I will say this to him, and this is great for him and great for all his fans in the U.K. Because Jacksonville plays at two, like two to three uh, U.K. games a year. So – that's two or three games where he gets to go back home and, and, and play in, in, uh, in, in, you know, in, in the United Kingdom. So good for yeah. him in that, in that respect. But JD, um, what do you, what do you make of the, um, were you surprised that a team is picking him up and may put him on the active roster and how much do you think Andy and Doug kind of talked about this LRZ? Experience? There you go. There you go. You know, that's where I was going to lead to. Okay. <laughs> you know, that's where I was going to go. Uh, who is, uh, uh, you know, Andy Reid's protege, uh, Doug Peterson, been with Andy his entire career. Well, not entire career, most of it, you know, being with Andy, coaching, uh, learning everything from him, runs the same style offense, probably the same terminology is probably pushed on. So they do a lot of things similar. So uh, Andy, and I'm sure, talked it up to LRZ. Uh, and guess what? Jacksonville needs to sell. They need to sell jerseys. <laughs> they need to sell jerseys, okay? So they got they got a good they got a good player in LRZ, a developmental player. I I, I won't back on that. Uh, he's still developing. He's still trying to find his way into the NFL. He, going home, good for him. He'll play a couple games back home as people get to see him. Well done. I'm glad he's on a 53 man roster somewhere. Well done, LRZ. Congratulations for the time that you were here. We appreciate everything you did coming here developing for the three months album that you was here good deal good deal congratulations signing the 53 man roster and so if they're going to utilize you go ahead go do it and i think sometimes you know taking this step him having the patience but also too the perseverance to say look i'm gonna keep trying if somebody wants me why well, turn it down uh i think somebody asked on here did he have a choice yeah he had a choice he didn't, he didn't go sign with the with Jacksonville. Uh, I'm sure they offered him to be on the, the, the practice squad. So they made sure like, Hey, let's go ahead and swoop him up. And Andy probably said, man, that might be a good home for you to go. Uh, they go and play a couple of games there. They're going to give you a contract. Why not take it? Right. You got an opportunity to go play. So well done. Congratulations LRZ. And so uh, for all the people that, that followed us from over on uh, across the pond. Okay. Your boy's on the he's on the squad, 53 man roster. Congratulations to him. Hope y'all watching the game. Okay. So yeah. And you know, you know, you never know. I mean, he started his NFL career in Kansas City. So guy like that, you know, they could move him to the practice squad and then we could go try to get him from their practice squad. But uh, but yeah, um i I'm gonna miss it. And I don't know how much of our Welsh friends and fans, hopefully you guys will be coming. I've seen some of the comments on here. Hopefully, you know, you guys stick around and, um, you know, and, and want to continue, uh, you know, following our channel. You know, I'm seeing Joe the Casual, same here, need to find some Jags YouTube channels, but have grown to love these Chief guys. And we've grown to love you guys. You guys are great. You know, you guys are amazing fan base for LRC, and hopefully you guys stick around. And hopefully through this summer and off season, you guys have uh, learned to love us and love the Chiefs. So you guys are more than welcome to become uh, Kansas City fans for life uh, after this offseason. So you can still root for LRC, but you can still root for the Chiefs. Look, we welcome you with open arms. We, we appreciate the interaction with you guys. You're going to learn a lot of stuff here because we're going to talk football. We get down into the nitty-gritty about these things. Uh, but also, too, man, we, you, we are family over here at Chief Concerns. And so as you see it, uh, we talk about a little bit more than just football. You know, we get out here and, you know, I, I, you know I talk to people about life issues and things so it's always a good time so we welcome you back anytime man come see us please come see us come say hi I always enjoy your time over here at chief's concerns so but yeah i will say the lrz story was one of the 
you know, obviously we she, we, we Chief fans know we went through a, lo- a rough time this off season with you know going from the, the shooting at the parade. You had you know uh, Rasheed Rice's driving incident. You had a couple of arrests. A lot of things going on. And LRZ story was one of those really cool stories that was was a fun one to follow mm-hmm. as far as a guy picking up rugby going going from rugby to the NFL and it was it was a really fun story and fun storyline to kind of follow throughout this whole off season and uh, you know we've made a lot of friends from uh, across the pond along the way with you all so yeah I hope you guys do stick around and uh, continue to follow the Chiefs and um, hopefully we you know we're more than just a show now we're a family so uh, yeah. And yeah, he said, plus, Michael Lewis said, plus I want to learn about the NFL stuff. I played rugby since I was eight, so it's piqued my curiosity. But you'll find it here, man. You ask questions, you're going to get some answers. And we'll give it to you straight, okay? Like you said, it ain't going to be all that fluff and all that yelling. We're going to give it to you like you, like, you know, like you're asking. You want some questions, we're going to give you the answer. So all you, all you guys that's over here, come checking us out, man. Keep coming over here. We're going to give you some good stuff. Believe it. 100%. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.